to a bigger circle so it's not half of a round circle and half of a collapse. Good. Yeah. Right now the outside brain is loose, so now there's no parameters. She can get hysterical about anything. Opening right. Heat. Pulsing right. Bending. Increase the bending. Little actions. Yeah. So right now you're making little tiny motions, maybe two inches, but she's a big damn horse. In order to follow the bascule, it might be 12 inches. Allow, allow, close your eyes, feel her pull on your fingers. She's not going to do that much because she's used to living in a little tiny box better. And then as you're going, think I want to pulse her to a bigger circle. Since she's sensitive, you might use your inside leg towards her outside shoulder every third stride. Some horses, it's every other stride. Some horses, it's every stride. Better. Let your elbows leave your body. Let your shoulder socket swing. Pulse her out. And if her ears start pricking and she goes, what's that? May just make a circle right away. Invite, tickle, key in the lock of the right wrist, whatever. Half circle and go the other direction. Once the walk becomes as fast, you have as many problems as when it's short and fast. Slowly. Left flexion. Again, what controls the gait? the outside rein. What allows it to work? The inside flexion. Better. We tired him out. Good job. Small circle again. There you allowed counter flexion. When you allow a loose rein, the horse is put in the position of taking care of you. You're the predator, she's the prey. If you have let the prey take over, then she's gonna be quick, fast, and wanting to flee. Ah, better walk tempo. Yeah, and then at the same time you have that tempo, shoulder, socket, and elbow. It's like sawing wood, you push your hand towards her mouth. It comes back on its own. Good. Position, allow, and as it's getting short and fast, what are you gonna do? I would ride a circle. If positioning her and using tiny, tiny outside half halts were not enough, then I use a circle. Allow, allow, allow. Does it have to be that lifted? I don't think so. I think her ability to lengthen is more about her shaking hands with your outside brain routinely. Then she starts to come close to tracking up. There's no reason why she can't have over track. Half circle. Lead her into it a little. As much bend as it takes for her to meet the outside rein. Slowly. Slowly. Yeah. and then off to trot on a circle, maybe a 15 meter circle. I think 20 meters is gonna to be too big, but we'll see. Good job. Keep the inside flexion and every once in a while, slow down. Outside half halts, pulse slower, pulse slower. Yeah, off to trot. Slowly, inside flexion, slow. More inside flexion, just by a little bit. Pulsing, no hanging. Once you get into a tug of war, she's gonna twist her head all over the place and have a meltdown. Your parameters, you're not demands. 
slow and slow. Add another circle. Leg under you, post slow. Increase the bend a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, and slowly. Yeah. Five hands. Yeah. Add a circle again. The outside has to be the pacifier. It has to be quieter and closer to her neck. So it's a soft place to fall no matter what you do with the inside aids. Yeah. Keep the bending. Yeah. And you have to be very careful with the whip because you're hitting her all the time and I don't think you know you are. Circle again. Bending. Focused, slow posting. Yeah. See, when she twists her head like that, you drop your hands and you hold against her. Just sit up and, and almost relax and then come again. If you get into a fight of his right, you lose. Better. And now can you extend the neck a little bit? Can you give outside? Can you give inside and have the same connection, but longer? Yeah. Where you lose it is your right rein gaps, and she goes, I'm the hell out of here now. The whole well, point. Evan, how do I give otherwise? You just get limper. You, it's like, how do I stick a marshmallow into the fire? I become a little bit looser in my elbow, but I don't want to drop the stick with the marshmallow in it. It's like, how do you put a marshmallow into a fire? Right? To extend it. Right. Right elbow is part of your body. Right now, it's a little bit too much out in front of you. Good. Small circle. Even contact. Yeah. Ask aloud. Ask aloud. It's it drops of water out of a sponge and relaxation. Ask again and relaxation. Without letting anything fall out of your hand. Yeah. And all the time when you're posting, does she post, push you high, as high up as you're going? Or are you sort of tensing to lift yourself? Let her throw you higher, uh, up, which is less than I think you think it is. Yeah, change and go the other direction. Stirrup step left, gradually change flexion right. Right leg comes forward, quiet hands. That's okay. And if she slows or walks, who cares? Just keep the flexion, flexion and go on. Good. And to the outside. Slowly. Uh, there you pull the outside. Remember, it's just a receiver. It's a catcher's mitt. It's not something that acts. Slowly, can you have a little bit slower? Just by posting slower or posting more upright. Better. Yeah. Light, even contact. It's like when she goes hollow, you get desperate, right? Just buoyant, quietly. Yeah, no. So what? I would, if she wanted to walk, I would have let her walk and then gone. But what you, you, you don't want to create more tension than you have. It's like, why does she quit going? Maybe your hands dropped a little bit. Okay, and you're saying no, 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 especially when she hollows. And now I want you to go slower and slower and slower. I don't care if she walks. Yeah. Small circle, little bit opening ring. Just the hint of it. She's a drama queen. You moved. Oh my God, I'm going to die now. Yeah. And another.
other circle. A little bit opening right, just that little bit. It's enough to keep her into the control of the outside ring. Yeah, that trot for right now. I think sometimes when she slows down, you punch with your legs. You think you need it to keep going, but you don't. better. Yeah. Add another circle. Slower again. As she bends, the outside rein allows her to take a chill pill. Good job. Bend first, slow second. And large, slow. And large, slow. Yeah, her ears are working. And large, slow. And it may be in, take a stride, large, take a stride, slow, take a stride. It's what allows her to find comfort with you. Better. All right. Oh, slow again. Be careful of your outside hand dropping. Because then she's going to start counterflexing. Opening a little. Just infinitesimal. How, left, how little can you do and how much of a bang from your butt can you get? Good job. Slow again. So it's, you have same contact on both rings. How you transmit your requests is nuances. Think about it. All right, a little bit wider the inside hand, just a little, slowly when you do it. Not because I tell you, but because you need to find the place that she believes you. Yeah, keep it and go to trot on a circle. Yeah, on a circle, transition on a circle. The reason I want it on a circle is the bend gives you control. Could you ride positioning straight ahead? One could, but I want to make it clear to the horse. Well done. A little bit opening again. Tell her ears work. Yeah. Find the place that her ears go. What you talking about? It's as little as possible and as much as is needed. And I think you're too much listening to me and not to what she's telling you. All right. Yeah. Opening again. As soon as your hands go a little bit down or too close together, it's just like cheesy. He goes, okay, out of here, thanks. Been there, done that, not doing it again. Yeah, what happened to the tempo? It got quicker. I like that she has more flexion, but I don't like that she goes in, now I'm the hell out of here. Slowly. Well, opening right, just a little. Now, you, 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 the good news is you do it immediately. Try it in one percent at a time. Yeah. Increase the bending slowly. Now you have her ear. Yeah. And then you, you lost her a little bit. So how do you get it again? Opening again, slowly. Yeah. Is she getting quicker? Yeah, but first increase the bend before you try and slow her down. Increase the bend. Opening rein is easier. Yeah. Memorize that. No quicker. What's interesting is your tail swings from yeah. center to right. Doesn't swing left. Hmm. Good job. Yeah, take a walk break. Loose reins. 